think I can fit the car through this. Alright. Let us see. Sean, why do you park like that? But I measured with my feet. This should be okay. Conservative under Andrew Shoe went. Oh yeah, more than enough. Alright guys, today's plan is to clean the Scion. This means addressing any of the surface rust, body damage. I also got a few small things for the XB as well, including window visors, which are going to be super easy to install, and hood struts for the hood because it has nothing. I'll show you what's under the hood too. I was actually kind of surprised to see that whoever owned it before me put in a little bit of work. Now, I do plan on keeping these roof racks, but since we're going to be wrapping it a different color in the next few days, I need to find a way to take those off because the seller forgot to give me the key to that thing. I may have to go to a locksmith to get those off without breaking them because I do want to keep them. Other than that, we'll vacuum the interior, we'll clean up the body, prep it prettier up for winter season. Again, the wrap is no secret. It's been sitting at the garage here. So it's gonna be black. Going for that super clean VIP build look. I had the funds, I'd like to paint it. This thing I'm really excited to play around with. Dent remover package from Amazon. Really cheap, 30 bucks. I watched the promotional video that it came with and it looked really easy to use. This thing does have a few dents on the body. On the rear passenger side door, there's this very noticeable dent. I think this is a perfect spot to test it out on. We'll probably take off a few of the stickers too. I mean, I don't wanna keep the Stampeder sticker on there. Just uh, really make myself more of a local. Cleaner, the better. And believe it or not, The Rock, like Dwayne The Rock Johnson, used to play for the Calgary Stampeders before he got famous. It's no known fact, probably end up taking it off. Today's plan is to really just clean her up, prep her for winter. I have wheels on winter tires that are on the MX-3, which I'll be getting back in the next few days from Ben, Joyride Automotive, who's working on it right now. I had to get a few things replaced on it and it's taking longer and also costing me more than I thought and hoped it would. Kind of bummed about that, but MX-3 has always been a dream car of mine. So there's a little part of me that really wants to keep it. I might end up just giving it to Shane as a winter beater or something because this is going to be my practical winter daily. Yo, what's up, dude? How are you? Good, good. I'm working on the Scion today. Building new parts? Yeah, like window visors. I had oh. to get rid of the dent. Oh, I'll show you guys the window visors. So these are Mugen style. Really cheap off Amazon, eBay. Just 3M tape. So it's going to be an easy install. Let's do this. <laughs> This little thing too, believe it or not, a really rare and hard part to source. It is a cup holder that fits in the front of the dash on the passenger side. And there's a little note here actually, it says, I honestly do appreciate your purchase. I try to make sure all the parts I sell are in good, clean working condition. This looks super clean. Okay, I'll show you guys where this goes. This is actually what I was using for my Beamer. Seriously, this little cup holder tray thing, so hard to find. Boom. Let's go back to the beamer. Like I said, I got hood struts for this thing. Off Amazon, 60 bucks. Because this didn't come with anything. But uh, as you can see, there's an intake system in this and Some tower braces. Yeah, a tower brace, a little rusted, but maybe I can like sand that down, repaint it. These I've seen can actually be attached in the front to here or back here. So we'll figure out the composition. The hole for the hinge and the screw uh, don't match, so I gotta make this a little bit bigger. Let's test this out. And 
Yo, yo, what up, dude? What are you up to? Yo, Clark, I fix it. Dude, I just turned it around basically, but it works. I thought I had to like re drill the holes, man, but it was just, I wasn't looking at the instructions properly. And uh, I just switched the pieces around and turned it upside down, and it actually works per. I need, I need one for the skylight. Okay, what's next? The dent. I'm actually kind of excited to use that dent remover. Um, just to see if it even works. I feel like it's working though. Yeah. Really? It's working. It is. It's tight. Damn. I think that's good. Yeah, you barely can see it. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. yeah. You know what, for $30, it's not bad. I'm just a noob at it. I mean, it kind of works better than before, but I think I just need a smaller attachment. Yeah. Okay, let us, uh, let's take off some stickers. I'm going for the clean look. Maybe he'll make a return later on. Sorry, Jollibee. And I also feel like this Lost Royalty banner is way too big for the back, so I'm gonna take that off too. I'm gonna take off everything else. I uh, will take that off. Fuck it. Sorry, Stampeders. Not even a football fan. It's just so clean with absolutely nothing on the rear window. Okay, maybe we can start sanding down some of the rust on the front here. I feel like this is a really common spot for rust on Scion XBs, just because this area is super flat. Um, so if you're like driving during the rain, water just stays in this area. That's what I feel like. I don't know, man. I'm most likely just gonna do it by hand. So we don't get too much of the surrounding paint, but we are gonna be wrapping it anyway. You can see it's just surface rust. So I think you can sand that down. This is 60. Perfect. Getting a completely new hatch because this one has a bunch of dents in it. We'll try our best to get these out using that Amazon tool.
the Japanese ones is the area where the license plate goes is located on the bumper and then this back part is completely flat. So if I can find someone selling just the hatch itself, that's the Japanese version, then I'll probably end up just replacing this thing. So I'm gonna try and go to the lock surgeon down the street before they close and try to get these roof racks off. I think they close at five, so I only have like 20 minutes. Quickly took the car to lock surgeons before they close. That's what I was thinking, right? Just, uh, let's try that quick. We didn't have the key for this part, so he managed to pick it. Now, if you take this off, awesome. You only need to do one side. You can just push it out. Ace. Roof rack is off. Right, we are back at the garage. I grabbed some tinnies on the way home, and also made a mess on my seat. You are truly Canadian if you don't start your day off without these. But I heard Tim Hortons is kind of going down in business. That guy made light work of this. I thought that was gonna be a lot more expensive, but and it only took him like five minutes to pick each lock. So command that guy, he really knows what he's doing. But now that those are off, this thing is prepped. We can start on uh, wrapping it. But I don't think we're gonna wrap it today. For the rest of this video, we're gonna get onto Photoshop and we're gonna conceptualize what I have planned for this XB. Let's go. Yeah. Set you guys down. All right, we are going to open Photoshop. And I took a photo. Oh, shiz. These Gorilla Pod tripods only have like a lifespan of maybe two months of consistent use before all the ball joints get really loose. And uh, it's sometimes it doesn't even stand up. I took a photo of the XB outside the garage. So we're gonna transport that from my phone into the computer. Then we'll have a base. We can start off with this, okay? So my idea for the XB build really is stance it out. Most VIP builds I know are on the darker color side. So we're definitely gonna make this black. I plan on keeping the roof racks, throwing those back on once it's completely wrapped. We'll try to find some nice 17 or 18 inch wheels for this thing. And I kind of want a lip, but I'm also looking for the simplest, most flat faced wheel design that's out there. So the less spokes and the more flatter it is, the more I find that kind of style fits this particular car. So yeah, we're definitely gonna lower it. So if any of you guys know anybody who is in the business or offers sponsorships, uh, I have a few cars that I wanna obey. Um, the main theme we're going with is black and chrome. So uh, the grill is gonna be chrome. Probably the window trim is gonna be chrome. And there's cheap alternatives to all of these things, right? But uh, we'll see our options. The wheels, I'm not entirely sure what wheels I'm gonna go with yet. Tint out the windows, black everything out, and yeah. That is my idea. That's what I have envisioned for the XB. So, uh, VIP build coming soon, hopefully. I mean, I gotta work my ass off to make the funds, but yeah, you know how it is. So we got a lot planned for the XB, uh, the toaster if you will, as well as the E36. Like I've already ordered a handful of parts for both of the cars and the plan is to just build them up in this garage during the winter break. We even consider it a break hibernation season for Canadians. Come springtime, we'll have two beautiful cars come out of this garage. For the summer chasers and the people that really can't get over this weather, you gotta find something to keep your time occupied or else people are just complaining about the cold snow. And I feel like that's what a lot of Calgarians and uh, Canadians in general talk about a lot of the time. Especially when they have nothing to talk about, like the small talk, they bring up the weather. But here at the KMR Gallery, we're just going to be working on cars all winter long. So, if you guys want to keep updated on when new videos come out on this channel, hit that sub button with the notification button tick, drop a like, leave some good vibes in the comments, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace.